the one the one thing I do remember um, about this particular rescue, it was the only time I was ever thanked. I made hundreds of water rescues. Um, you know, I made a lot of cliff rescues. Uh, and even though the people were very glad to see you when you came down on them from 150 feet above and still had 300 feet to go on a cliff face, um, as soon as you got them to the ground, they were gone. But um, this, this one particular event happened my first year. It was again in August. Um, and uh, there was a, you know, at Tower 3, there was a vicious little rip there that just pops up. And, you know, it, it, nothing could be going on there, and it appears nothing will go on there all day long, and then, boom, that rip pops up, and it's like a people magnet. It just sucks people in, and it pulls like hell. And, uh, you know, it's, it, people are climbing the ladder, and, and, you know, they think they're going to die, think they're going to drown. And if you don't get there, there's a chance they will. So um, both the guard at five and I had, had seen what was happening, and we threw our phones, both headed out. The, uh, the Jeep unit was at the far end, I think I found out later down, Tower 10. So he and I are hustling towards you know, uh, Tower 3. I get there first, get right in the rip, and I, as he comes up, I tell him, I'm gonna take the furthest out, and it's this young gal. And, and she's really struggling. And uh, I'm swimming towards her, yelling at her, and, and uh, she's just starting to slip you know, under the water. She's, she's figured out that she doesn't have enough strength. I get there, get her on the buoy. We take a minute, and then I start coming in and um, you know, take through three or four waves. But she, she was the, the, the first gal that I really thought, you know, this gal's gonna die if I'm not here. And um, we, we, uh, we get up towards the beach and I, you know, the, the backwash is pretty heavy and the tide was, if I recall right, was incoming tide tide because here comes the lifeguard jeep, the unit. It's got Stubbs and Matthew in it and they're coming from underneath the pier and they're up on an angle like this as they're driving down the beach because the berm was pretty high and, and the white water was washing up. That's vivid in my mind. And they get to us, and uh, Lou uh, says to me, he says, go ahead and go back to your tower. And uh, so uh, we'll take care of the paperwork. So I run back, and don't think of anything about it. I think I had like 25 rescues that day. So the next day I had a day off, and, and my girlfriend had decided that we were going to Disneyland, so we went to Disneyland. And uh, so she also decided we were going to go on the jungle ride for the first, first thing. So we go into the jungle ride, and um, you know the, the crowd's big, and it's serpentining back and forth like it always does. And uh, so we're talking and I'm facing her and, and probably after 10 minutes being in there, I get this electric shock down from the base of my skull going down my shoulder. I'm thinking, whoa, you know, what happened there? And, I, and you know, my girlfriend looks at me and I, I keep talking to her and then about 10 seconds later, there's a second one that's even stronger and it's like, I finally turn around and my girlfriend goes, what's going on? And, and as I turned around about 30 feet across the room, it was like there was nobody else there. Here's this gal I had saved the day before and she's just laser focused on me. And I, she has somehow recognized me when we came in and I don't know what this electrical thing was, but it happened and I don't know if it was ESP, I don't know what it was, but you know, um, she recognized me, I recognized her and we started going back and forth across the line. We eventually ended up directly opposite each other just for a brief time. <clears throat> she reaches across the rope, touches my arm, gives it a little squeeze and she says, merci. Merci beaucoup. She was French, didn't speak a word of English, and then the line moved and she, you know, was gone. She was going that way, we were going this way. And then right before the, uh, uh, right before she went out to get on the ride, she turned around and she, she knew exactly where I was. She just looked at me very intensely and smiled, and then she slipped out the door and she was gone. You know, and I've never forgotten that. In, wow. in fact, I oftentimes think, I hope that somewhere in France, or some young gal who's grown up to be a great woman, who's had a good family and you know, had a, a full life, and uh, it, it was something that I was able to help her achieve. You know? Well, that's what lifeguarding's all about. It is. Yeah, it is. That's an awesome yeah. story. And, and uh, yeah, I've never forgotten that story. Mm -hmm.